Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Look, there was a... T so I know that people have talked out about Donald Sterling and all that, but I was listening to the talk radio show just the other day, and there was this really interesting point to you me. See, you it was see a, my face? I'm already getting mad. It's, there's an intellectual it. point that I was no, like, there's no. a, There's a point. Okay, look, okay. There was a point that was made on the talk show radio show. They said, okay, so here we are. We're going after Donald Sterling because he's being racist, because he was racist and he got caught on videotape and, or on tape and all of that stuff. And it was like, and then the person said, but what about someone like Jay-Z, who's, uh, you know, owner or whatever? And... And that Jay Z, he uses the N word all the time, and that Jay Z uses misogyny in her in his lyrics all the time, and so how how are we having this quote this double standard? So that that was the setup from the from the radio show, and so um, yeah, Ed, tell me what you think about that. Don't consume Jay Z. You cannot consume Jay Z. You can consume hip hop and not consume Jay Z. You cannot consume the National Basketball Association without consuming the Los Angeles Clippers. Furthermore, this whole idea of that it, it process or the fact that the tape is hidden or the fact that this is his personal views, that means absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. The fact of the matter is the National Basketball Association profits on the dollars and the bodies and talents of a predominantly African-American base. Point blank, period. That is not, not up for discussion. With the exception of the coaches and the front offices <laughs> and the people in the front of the stands, yeah. basketball Forces. is black. Yeah. Right. It is it is black. It is something that African-Americans have gravitated to since the 1970s. Right. And I'll spare you the history of how basketball becomes a part of that legacy. Right. And you got to start with New York and a lot of those places. But the point of the, the, the entire point of the thing is that you have commercial sponsors that are doing this. Yeah. JD, Jay-Z is not necessarily selling sponsorship. He's not advertising for Kia. He's not advertising for State Farm. He's not advertising for all of these companies mm. that are trying to tap into an African-American fan base right, in right. order for him to sell. Um, whatever, uh, Ciroc, Tom Ford, yes, Jay-Z is doing that. But they are purchasing the clientele that does that and uses that language and speaks to that and lives that ideology, at least in their inter entertainment consumption. Okay. This idea that Donald Sterling, da 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 Quentin Tarantino makes movies about killing people. Fantas glorifies them. But we don't put the, the responsibility of that onto mm. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. We don't put the responsibility on that of Jay-Z. This is entertainment, right? Yeah. To quote Jay-Z, it's only entertainment. Yeah. Donald Sterling is not in the business of selling a movie theater or music or entertainment. Okay. He's in the business of putting on a basketball event. Yeah. He's in the business with other, with 29 other people who said, we want diversity. Mm -hmm. We want other folks included. We want a diverse fan base. We want diverse players. We want diversity everywhere. Whether or not they do it, they want that. Yeah. So when you are caught on tape, on purpose or not, if you get caught, that's, that's between you and your side chick. <laughs> that's her fault that's your fault you right, got caught right. mm -hmm. and so you can no longer be a part of this organization right when everything when you say something that goes blatantly against the core values of the league and so in summary these Jay -Z people is an honor jay-z is an artist jay-z is an artist and, and we shouldn't hold an artist to any social standards because that is actually what they're critiquing we have to give them a lot a, a, a big birth when it comes to something like that. Well, Donald Sterling is not an artist and he's racist as hell. He got caught on tape. Suck it up. Sell the organization. That's what you got to do. And and I don't feel sorry for you because you're about to make like a billion, like $2 billion. And so, yeah, suck it up. Yeah? We good? Are you all right? You going to be okay? <laughs> I don't know why you do this to me. 